This is what the world's biggest Loch Ness monster hunt for half a century looks like. Hundreds of volunteers gathered in Scotland over the weekend, many of whom had travelled long and far to be there. I've just moved up to the Highlands in May, so I can come to the lot more and more. We come from France. I'm an American cryptozoologist from San Antonio, Texas, so I've traveled thousands of miles to get here. But they all have one thing in common. Have you ever experienced any sort of evidence yourself? Never. I've been coming for a lot of years and I've not seen anything yet. Not for Nessie. I've never found any evidence. I've seen a big splash in the water. I've not come across any real evidence yet. I haven't, not yet, not yet. The elusive theory dates back to 565 AD, but it didn't gain international stardom until the 1930s, when English physician Robert Wilson took a photo appearing to show the monster. It was later debunked, but it didn't stop some people from believing. I believe there's a mysterious creature in there. Uh, the debate is, what is it? The organisers of the hunt, the Loch Ness Centre, set up 17 surface watch locations around the loch in the hope that someone would get the sighting of the mythical creature. This year, though, the monster hunters had raised the bar. They had hired state-of-the-art technology to help the hunt. The, the one we've, we used today and yesterday on the boats was the hydrophone, the hydrophone system, which is basically an underwater uh, microphone. But the drones, it's thermal drones and infrared drones. We've had cameras on the side of the lock before, but never from the air. So it'll very easily pick up a, a heat signature if something does break the surface. But for many volunteers stationed around the lock, it was just a set of good old fashioned binoculars. This is Craig. He drove hours and camped out in the pouring rain to be here. It's good to have them if there is a break in the water that's further out, just to have a look and see if it, it could be something. So far, it's just been ducks and birds. But you're hoping for more? I'm always hoping for more, yeah. Well, this year, they didn't find any credible evidence to disprove that the monster is nothing more than a myth. We didn't see anything. This is just shy. <laughs> it's not a problem for us. We are both shy too. There has been a couple waves. Um, they looked suspicious, but it was mainly just a wave. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of... Waves. Waves, yeah. <laughs> but the level of attention this brings to the local area and the sense of community people get coming here is enough for them to want to come back. Being a part of, of the history has definitely made it worthwhile. If there is something lurking in Loch Ness, um, it does not play by the rules. So, you know, if anything, it's doing us a favour by not showing up. So we just keep on going again. So, and that's what it's about. Just keep on going. <laughs>